deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on me. Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, and Just because he's class president doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I am. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh? Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Aww. I've got your note. Glad you could make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Josh! Josh! Fuck! Guys! There's someone outside! What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! After her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike.
Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Hannah, what's that? Sorry for that. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So. You have committed to commence with this game. This is simple. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through. Hmm? All right, Judge. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. make you feel. Remember, be honest. Okay, 
Honest oh, is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Well, I see. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. What if I told you that this part was haunted? Oh. All right, all right. I sense that you suffer from a significant fear of, of the supernatural. What lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. Do you agree? And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? Please remember, this is only a game. Well, it seems to be out of time for this session. But we'll talk again very soon. Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein, who is in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Anne. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know, um, it means 
means so much to me that we're doing this. And uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know, Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! I've been looking forward to playing this game three years ago, ever since the, it was announced for PS3 back in August 2012. The circle sees the dumb blonde. The dumb blonde. The dumb blonde. The dumb blonde. Dumb blonde Sam. Dumb blonde Sam. Dumb blonde Sam. She's dumb. Blonde Sam. Dumb blonde. Okay, that's 
Captain. Come on. Not bad with using a touch pen. Ah, damn it. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. That's it. Come on. Ah, damn it. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. That's it. Come on. Come on. Ah, damn it. Oh my god. It's okay. That's it. Come on. I'm gonna use a depth and control. Use a new one. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. That's it. Oh. Damn it. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. That's it. Come on. Ah, damn it. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. That's it. 
Come on. Oh, I, I don't know how, how I'm supposed to do this. I don't like touch pads. <laughs> cool. I'll be right back. Be right back. Within 20 minutes. You know how Don Blondes might have been in my own horror movies. You know how. Chris? Chris. 
Sam, hey, you made it. Oh, oh so, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. You know how wabbits are dumb blonde in horror movies? Like Scream! Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties! Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right, here goes. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, nah, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Squirrels are just rats with bushy tails. I cannot believe you just did that. Ah! Oh my god, what is that? Get it away! <sighs> Jesus, are, are you okay? Oh, this mountain is freaking me out already. Hey, hey, look, our, our cable car is coming. Let's grab our ride. Think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Yeah. So beautiful today, but he might just feel some menacing like sleeping giant. 
You gonna publish? What? Your pretty poem. The Sleeping Giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh, shut up. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. Family bought a mountain. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but... I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I'm kind of worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just... Let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Don Blon 2, Don Blon 2, the second Don Blon, second Don Blon. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, new people, time to meet and greet. Stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder.
Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. Totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right, let's just get up to the laundry yard. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh, me too. Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? Probably this lot. It's probably this lot in the game. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Bad friends, how they treat Hannah and Beth. No. And where's that bellboy when you need one? <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I'm mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> A bad friend. <laughs> you guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right Dude, there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. <laughs> Michael, you gotta yes. step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. Be buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. Kinda hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. All the bags. Um, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, the more even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. And now a bad friend of Beth and Amy. I bet she is the queen bee. I bet she's the queen bee. The boy of the game. Oh, 
Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, well, what? I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hey, well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. Uh, um, sure, uh, go, go ahead, knock yourself out, I guess. Son of a bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... God damn it. Matt. Not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Oh, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Oh, you just try that again. <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Well, well, well. <laughs> what does the Snowball King get for defending his kingdom from oppression and tyranny? Oh, I'm oppression and tyranny in this scenario? Hey, we've all got parts to play. I think you just landed the role of guy not getting any. Think of it, at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. Did you hear that? Uh, yeah, sounds like... Whoa! Oh my god! 
That was really close. That thing was gonna kill us. Yeah, I mean, wow. If you hadn't pulled us out of the way, toast. Let's get out of here. Last session we established that you have a fear of things that are dead or undead. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Let's talk to you. So sorry. sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed, speed up. up. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightened you will find this experience. After this, I'm done. This is very interesting. Thank you. For answering so diligently. <laughs> Spiders, zombies, and needles. <laughs> That's some combination. It sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh, well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon.
third set. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. No! Shut up! First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. For, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Oh, son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh, yeah? It feels the same to me. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you going to install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it was so good to see you. What's up with him? Yo, yo, yo. We get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's got to be, like, a window around the corner we can get, like get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. Doing all right? Yeah. Aside from being kind of cold and vaguely creeped out by this place. It's, it's kind of weird being back up here, huh? Yeah. I'm done. I'm going to be getting off. I'll play more tomorrow. Thanks for watching me.